Today we're going to be looking at this photograph here. Um, a coworker stopped me today, and she kind of knows what I'm into, and um, was with uh, you know doctoring up photos and such. Um, and she asked me, "Hey, do you think you can take this this harsh this harsh fall off here, this harsh glare off of him?" And I said, "You know, I can give it a shot. See what I can do. I know that you know sun's a hard thing to deal with, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot today." Um, I'll show you what I did first here. The very first thing that I did, I I added a layer. Okay, over here. Today we're using GIMP, um, GIMP to you know to to work on this photograph. Give you some other options here. Okay, so we're gonna name this one fill color, so that so it's transparency there. If it decides it wants to work. Okay, so here it is up here. Um, set it above the image there. I've learned through my projects to never you know doctor directly on a photo, obviously. Uh, you just doctor on the on the transparent layer above. That way you can just delete it and start over. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do now is go ahead and choose a, a fuzzy brush here. I like this one in particular for this job. Um, so we're gonna set the opacity pretty low here, probably around 20. And the scale the scales okay. We drop down to six or so, six something or one. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is use our, well, we have our uh, paintbrush tool here. Um, drop this down again. And we're going to actually pick up uh, the color of the color of his skin here. Try to get a little bit of a darker one. Okay. So I guess we'll go back to the fill layer here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and kind of draw in some, you know, some of this darker temperature, this color over over top of the the really light white of the skin here. Um, we're being careful. We're not being real careful. Uh, we're going to go back and doctor it up a little bit more later. I'm just using one continuous stroke. That way, the uh, you know the opacity doesn't overlap, and we get that multi-layer effect. So as I'm, uh, as I'm working through this quickly here, you can kind of see uh, it, it darkening those spots that I'm, that I'm painting over, lessening the harshness, which is, you know, the main idea here. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to clone tool these two things out. So I'm going to leave those where they're at. Um, okay. So we're going to go up here to the uh, layer mode, go down to value. You can kind of see now, um, when, I, when I move it quickly, you can see what, what, what we've done there. And it really has, um, it really has, you know, dulled down the, the sharpness there of the, of the white. We're going to actually go ahead and do one more layer of this, of this color. One more continuous stroke. See how that looks, and then we can play with the opacity of the layer. So we want to try to tie these colors in um, with not only like one one motion like an up and down but I try to go back through make little X's kind of gives it a cleaner feel uh, a more a more smooth effect in the end there okay so as we'll go from there um, minus these two defects here the a little bit of light on the on the lip there and then the light on his chin we're gonna drop this down and kind of take a look at what, what looks good I like it I like it dark like that okay so we'll keep there um, next thing we're gonna do is do a little do a little clone tooling here um, after we zoom in okay so we, we see this here this is this is an easy fix um, you know we're just gonna take a little patch from over here bring it over work on it from there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead um, I'm gonna drop the opacity down to about you know, 30, 30 some um, percent and bring this up to that's a little bit big. Let's go down to about you know, two. That's great. Okay. So we're gonna grab grab some uh, some color from here and just go ahead and just go ahead and blotch over as we go. All right, so that looks that looks decent. Um, 
They're like that. That doesn't look bad at all. We can bring bring some of this color down. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so then we're gonna come down here. Um, try to try to fill this in with some dark tones before we make a sweep. Then we're gonna take the edging from up here, sweep it down like this. And the same from the bottom up. Try to tie in. I'll incorporate all these colors. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and back out of this now. We'll just uh, check and uncheck this this full transparent layer here. This is see exactly what we've done. So we've we've came from this uh, pretty harsh lighting now. Um, down to down to that, so it looks it looks pretty good. Um, I'm sure she'll be happy with that. So I just want to let you guys know that you know this kind of thing is possible. If you're interested in this type of thing or anything like this at all, please subscribe to this channel and uh, let me know what you want to see, and we can try to make that happen. All right, guys, thank you.